Hi, welcome. My name is Mohamed Lomayor. I'm going to teach you the IBM MQ. I will teach you on a two way. First, I will teach you through command line, and second, also, I will teach you through graphical software, which is called IBM WebSphere MQ Explorer software. I will teach you how to create a queue manager, how to create all type of the object, and I will use this. IBM IIB console line. If you're familiar with IIB, you could download that one and use the, the console. But if you're not, then you can use the Rednex, download this one. Download that one with the MQ Explorer from this side. You could download that one. And in order to download the MQ, you must have a site and if you don't have it create one and download it i will put both of this link on the video description so let's know about the ibm mq what is it so what is ibm mq ibm mq is a software technology used by the business to make sure that different parts of their computer system can talk to each other it is like a messenger service for a computer just like how you might send a message to a friend using your phone IBM MQ lets different computer programs send message to each other even if they are not running at the same time or if they are not located at the same place or they are located on a different different places so this help a business to make sure that important information get where it need to go reliable and securely without getting lost or mixed up. So the IBM MQ is basically help computer communicate with each other smoothly and efficiently. So let's say bank one want to talk with the bank two. If this is a located on a Linux platform and this is using the OS platform like Windows how they could talk to each other how they could send the data to right here and the Linux would not have an issue with the OS uh, with the Windows or Windows would not have an issue with us let's say if they use a TCP and this using SNA protocol so all the kind of question would be solved by the IBM MQ because IBM MQ is an independent platform language if bank one want to talk with a bank two doesn't matter what kind of platform it use what kind of protocol it use ibm mq is a dependent language it will support it so on the market we have a two type of mq service like one is the ibm mq series with most company using right now and the second is is a microsoft mq ms mq so for example, if the bank bank one wanna talk, and uh, they have, might have the different kind of application, they will use the put MQ call. They will put a message on a queuing. So it is a queue, queuing is an object. So it's a queuing to L the message. So this the the application one will place the message on a put a MQ call and place the message on a queue. They will use different type of channel MC channel and they will use the, their protocol, TCP protocol or SNA depend of their business need and will forward the message. Doesn't matter what kind of format it is, if they're using JSON, XML, Gobal, MRM, whatever type of message format they use because the MQ, IBM MQ support that. So with they would not have an issue with it and they will forward it to another bank we'll call them bank 2 and same thing they will use TC whatever protocol they use and the channel they would put a, a, a message on a queuing system so one thing I want to mention this queuing system like let's say if the application is not available they would L the message right here on the application and if the application is down, if it's not available, if the address is missing, or whatever reason it is, they will end the message. We will not lost it. So when the application come back to life, they will forward it. So they will use the get MQ call and uh, to use it back the application and forward and receive it by this bank. So let let me explain it a little more because the reason is the application or programs would not using like usually you just get a call and call 
to another application. If this application or this program want to talk to this program, they will talk through the data like to each other through like we doing through texting. They will talk through data. They will send a message. Message has a meaningful information and they will say made a data with it and forward it and will come that and come back right here. So let me put it on another real life uh, uh, scenario like how you would see this one you will never forget it what is MQ uh, see the a IBM MQ as a post office like we have a post office where the delivery boy will take the mail and bring it on a mail for you on the mailbox you will drop it right here you might not be available on that time that is okay they will put in the message over there once you are available you will come and pick it up and read your message or you will be on different location so it would be fine with that same mechanism is right here when you forward message if the application is not available right now but they will place the message right here. when it says available they will read it and pick it up and same time the post office not only have a delivery boy they might have a different clerk like a uh, clerk inside who's picking up the message, clerk inside who's managing the message, clerk like work on a one specific section like only delivering to one like uh, just to New York for example, another clerk who just delivering a message to New Jersey so like they would have a lot of clerk and this all clerk we, uh, we call them object that would work under the queue manager. The queue manager is uh, like a post office manager just think the post office was a how a lot of queue they like a queue manager has a channel like they're using a channel they're using a listener port they're using a remote queue they're using a alias queue they're using a, all the type of system queue to complete the uh, and, to, and complete and forward the message to write destination like the post office does to use the different type of employee we have a same kind of service on the IBM MQ on the computer system where we have like a delivery boy like a remote queue who is nowhere to get the message and forward right here if it's between themselves like local queue we will have a local queue on a system they know each other we might have a channel we might have a listener transmission queue like all type of object this mechanism with a post office mechanism I believe this is for the computer wise system and a, and a human life we have a post office just see post office how it work how reliable would be if the person will bring the message if you're not available right here if something is wrong with your mailbox or the address you will not lose it you will take it back same thing we could create it on a MQ if the one queue is not available they will take it back and will hold it for you you will not lose your uh, mail or the data so this mechanism I believe whoever created is similar to off, uh, post office whatever post office has the IBM MQ has it on a computer system so I, on the next video I will go to show you how to create a queue manager so see you on, uh, on the next video